This guy is either a slug or a leech. I don't know. I really don't think he's a tardigrade. Uh, because he's not totally transparent. Let's see if we can get him. And I'm not sure if it is a planarian. Oh, it's a planarian. You can tell because its eyes are crossed. <laughs> oh, these guys are cool. You can cut these guys up into five different pieces. And the new ones that grow will retain all the memories of the original worm. That is so weird to see them move, though. Anyhow, I'm no expert on finding tardigrades, clearly, uh, but this is algae. I am a huge fan of algae because there are all kinds of crazy things that live in algae. There's something else there, I can't tell what it is. Then there's something up here. Oh, it's a wormy worm. Blah, 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 blah. But with the microscope, I want to show you what we can do is, as we zoom in, there's different zones that you hit. So right here we are looking at the surface of the water. Very surface, kind of jiggly. As we go deeper, we get into the algae. And then if we go even deeper, we get to the gunk that's on the very bottom. So there's always different things that you can find at different depths. And it's amazing to me because this is not a huge sample. It's really quite small and yet you have all these different depths and there are lots of different things going on. Things swimming around doing their thing. There almost might be a tardigrade. I, I can't tell. I can't zoom in anymore. If I could try to. Let me switch this. I think that is.
So this is magnified 100 times. He's getting into some weird stuff. There he is.